Devils hosting this Kraken, and the Kraken are plus 134 on the money line. The Devils are minus 164. The over-under is at 6.5 goals. The Kraken getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 192, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Devils laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 158, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. They played each other once this year already in Seattle, and the Devils won that game two to one. It's supposed to be Vanacek and Decor. Neither goaltender has been confirmed, but that'll be interesting to see what the Vanacek looks like because I haven't seen him in a while in net. Head to head, the Devils are three and two in their five meetings. The Devils are on a two game winning streak. The favorite has won the last two. The favorite is four and one on the money line. The underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is three and two. There have been three one goal games in their five meetings. The under is hitting their last two. The over-under is 2-2-1, two, two, and one. the under 6.5 goals is 3-2, and two. and the home team is 4-1. and one. The Kraken are 1-3 and three in their last four. There was a total of 7 goals, 6 goals, 2 goals, and 5 goals. 3 goals in an overtime loss, 4 goals in a win, and then shutout in a loss, and then 2 goals in a loss. For the Devils, they are also on a 2-game losing streak. They are 1-4 in their last five. 9 goals, 8 goals, 8 goals, 1 goal. Three goals and a loss, five goals and a win, three goals and a loss again, and then shut out in an overtime loss. I'm going to take the Devils with the money line. I will take the Devils laying the goals in this one, and I'm going to go under. No, actually, I'm going to go over. Use his back, and with Vanacek in net, I think the over would be a tad bit safer. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.